Hello, my name is Roger Banks. I'm the director of HVAC technology at Campbellsville University. Today, I'd just like to share a few tips with you about things you can do around your home to save on your heating bills this winter. The first thing is something that most people probably don't think about. We all have our ceiling fans that we use in the summertime to circulate air throughout our homes, but did you think about using your ceiling fan in the wintertime? If you look on your fan, there's a switch that will allow you to reverse the direction of the fan. In the wintertime, you want to reverse the cycle of the fan so that it pushes the air up and the heat will come back down the walls without creating a draft in your home. So the next thing I'd like to talk to you about is the thermostat. So here we have a programmable thermostat. If you have a programmable thermostat in your home, take advantage of the features uh, that it has to set back the temperature uh, during times of day that maybe you're not home, like while you're at work or school, uh, or in the evening uh, while you're asleep, covered up warmly in your bed. Uh, just set that, program it to set those uh, temperatures back uh, two or three degrees in the evening or during the day while you're away, uh, and then program it to come back on uh, just before you come home or before you'll wake up in the morning so that your house will be comfortable for you uh, when you return. Uh, another thing to consider if you don't have a programmable thermostat is just setting back uh, your thermostat a couple of degrees during times, again, at night before you go to bed, consider turning down the thermostat a couple of degrees, two or three degrees, um, or while, you, while you're away at work, uh, turn the thermostat down. As soon as you get home, turn it back up a couple of degrees, make it comfortable. The last thing to consider is uh, you want yourself to be warm or your family to be warm. You're not so much concerned about the house being warm. Wear a sweatshirt or a sweater uh, to, to remain warm so that you don't have to run your heat up as high. Consider a lower temperature, just wearing uh, more clothes. So these are some things that you can do uh, just to, to save a little money uh, that, that don't cost you anything um, and will make a big difference on your utility bill. Our heating and cooling systems need airflow to operate properly and efficiently. A common mistake people make is situating furniture or placing items in front of their uh, supply or return registers. One thing that you can do to help uh, your system operate more efficiently is to make sure that you remove anything that may be in front of supply or return registers. Another place energy is wasted in the homes is drafty windows, doors, and, and other cracks uh, in the structure. So one thing that you can do is consider uh, checking the weather stripping around all your doors, uh, caulk around uh, windows, and uh, one thing most people don't consider is light switches and wall receptacles uh, often uh, leak air around those. So go around your house, spill around, you'll feel the cool breeze, um, get a, a simple caulking gun with some caulk, uh, or they also make gasket material that you can place in these. Check these areas, also another place, anywhere a pipe comes into the house from the outside, plumbing pipes, uh, other type of, of uh, wires or pipes that come into the home. If there's a hole around those, seal around them, again with, with caulk or uh, a simple can of spray foam that you can get uh, at your local hardware store. Another cost saving tip that will only cost you a couple of minutes of your time in the morning, in the evening, uh, is your blinds and drapes. Uh, consider opening your drapes and blinds during the day to allow uh, the natural radiant heat from the sun to come into your home, uh, helping to, uh, to heat the living space. And then at night, you want to close the blinds, close the drapes uh, to keep that cold air at the window and, and from coming into your living space. We know that we use furnace filters to protect our homes from dust, dirt, debris, and other allergens. But did you also know that your furnace filter protects your HVAC system? Most manufacturers recommend changing your filter once a month. Changing your filter will help your HVAC system breathe easier and help save you money. 
At Campbellsville University, we're training the next generation of HVAC technicians. For more information about how you can become an HVAC technician, give us a call. Thank you.